correspond to all the different forces, completely cancel. So when I sum over all the currents, okay, um, I sum over all the anomalies, it turns out that they, they it vanishes in a standard model. So that's what makes our standard model quite unique, actually, mathematically, that, that it cancels anomalies. So that's another place churn simons theory shows up, okay? And then the, the other place it shows up is actually in string theory. In string theory, the churn simons theory shows up to actually, in a magical way, it also plays a role in canceling the anomalies in string theory as well. It's called a Green-Schwartz mechanism. Right, right, right. All right. Churn Simon's gravity now is another place um, that I played um, a role in in pushing over my career as um, a, a way of a new way of not a, 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 a way of thinking about gravity that has the Churn Simon's term in it. Can we go back to the other page where we have the anomaly? This one. Before that, okay. See here. Oh my God, this is a mess. I need to. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. It's, okay, yeah. you can see on the right hand side what an anomaly is is when there's a violation of the conserved current. But I'm unsure. Is that all that anomalies are? Are there other types of anomalies other than quantum anomalies? In other words, whenever someone says there's an anomaly, are they always referring to that the right hand side is no longer zero? Very good. So let me, um, um, good question. So let me just say another in general, if I, this is a general statement I'm making about anomalies, okay? For any current um, that is conserved, that's a, right, that is conserved, um, I'm gonna put on the right hand side the letter A. If it's not, if it's not equal to zero and there's an A, um, that A is called the anomaly. That's literally what it means. So when A is zero, then the current is conserved. And the question you're asking is, can an anomaly arise um, in a non-quantum way? Mm -hmm. right. um, that's a good question. I, you know, um, 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 so one thing, the calculations that are done to determine the anomaly, to my knowledge, are all um, are all quantum um, uh, considerations. Um, but I see no reason why you can't, you know, in some theory, which I, I can't recall right now, generate an anomaly classically. 